Okay. So. Okay. <coughs> Mighty nice grape. No, oh, very nice, yeah. isn't it? We love grapes. Okay, so we do love grapes, and it's uh, via Buenos Camendias. Welcome to Pedro TV. A very special welcome to Diego Benetto. Diego, how are you going? Very good, very good. Shake Thank you, hand, Pedro. Shake my hand. Thank you, Pedro, for inviting me. That's quite alright. I'm, I'm very thrilled to have Diego here. Um, I met Diego through friends and found out that he actually has made homemade wine. Yep. Backyard wine. Backyard wine, yeah. Uh, where? In Italy. Okay. In your in your urban backyard or in the in farm? My, or? In, in my basically it's a farm, you know, just in my garden. I have a ten meter trellis over there and you know it's just a matter of cropping all of the fruits. And ten meters cross how many kilograms of grapes would they give you? I don't know how many kilograms of grapes, but they pulled out something like 12 litres of wine out of wow. that. Wow, 12 litres, so that's, that's more than 12 bottles, because you know... Yeah, yeah, that's more than 12 bottles, this would be 750, 750 so, you, so we will need more bottles. Oh, that means I have to drink more wine, <laughs> but if I've got to do it, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I've, I, you know, I've, I had the idea of the project and um, hoping to meet a lot of old Greek people or Portuguese people who made their wine. Yep. And they're not that hard, to, not that easy to track down, and I've got on the net to sort of see how, you know, you make homemade wine, especially yeah. the green grapes, the white wine. Yeah, yeah. How, you know, you don't use the skins. Yeah. You mash the you grapes mash, for the juice. You mash the grapes for the juice. Now, yeah. is that something that we could use or...? Oh, we could use, yes, definitely. What we need is just a white container so we can collect all of the fruits inside it, mash them. You're thinking about white wine or red wine? White. White? Because okay. most of the grapes that grow around here are, are just the green grapes, you know. I mean, uh, white grapes. Yeah, yeah white yeah, yeah, grapes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can make white wines uh, also with uh, red grapes as long as you pull away the, uh, the, all of the tannins carrying okay. uh, elements. Which so the skin, the skin, the skin yeah. and, and the pips. Yeah, and the pips, pips exactly. So well, that's a lot of work. That's, you know, it's just straining the juices, right. you know, you smash the finish, strain so the So what, kind of, what kind of cloth do we need for the strain? Should be straight through. Oh, uh, you know, in theory, you should have a proper uh, container yeah. with a tab, so that you know, a, with a tab and a, and a bit of a filter, so you press through and it comes out the juice in a, in, a, in another container. Mm -hmm. But we can do it just with a big enough container. We press it, and then I guess we just scoop out all of the parts. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a scooper. Here's a scooper. We got a scoop. We got a so scooper. We got a scooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scooping. We get the strain, like in making pasta. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We got a strainer. Like, yeah, we, we got a strainer. We're gonna get be that fine. out. Yeah. So we got all those things. I've found a lot of a lot of my friends um, know of uh, grapes or like Wendy, um, Georgina's mum. Uh, they make wine too? No, no, but they just have grapes growing. Oh, like, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I mean, Wendy's in Alpha. And yeah, you yeah, see yeah. the back? The grapes right. are just there, you know? Oh, aren't they? And, the, and they don't pick them. And, and you told me there's a huge, huge amount of Cullen yeah, Park. A yeah, Cullen uh, Park, there's a beautiful trellis that has been kind of left over to its own devices, it's never been pruned very well. So it might, it might have some great berries out of mm -hmm. it if we beat the birds. Yeah, the only right. issues with wild. Fruits is that you know wildlife will love it just as mm. much as humans do. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they do. Mm. So uh, shoo the birds away, people. Shoo them away. Oh, we would. We've been told yesterday you just hang some yeah. foils yeah, yeah. from the <laughs> from the trellis, yeah, 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 and that yeah, would yeah, be yeah. enough, enough effectively enough for the birds. Yeah, we'll Urban birds are pretty pretty clue, but mm. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we'll go there. And we'll film. We yeah, we either go when we harvest, or we yeah, might. Yeah. We might go and prune and try to boost, yeah, yeah, as you're yeah, saying, yeah. try to boost. It's a bit late to prune oh, now, no. but you know, what you do now, with this is summer, you do this, what they call the summer pruning. Mm -hmm. So you prune um, the, the branches, non-carrying non branches, yeah, to allow yeah. more hair yeah, yeah. and sun to go through the ripened fruits mm -hmm. that will boost the sugar content. Now I should explain, Diego grew up in a, a farm in Italy. He grew up in a farm in Italy. Did he, he make wine on the farm? I made wine on the farm. With father? Uh, with, uh, with my mother, actually. And uh, I also worked for years in orchards and mm. various other farms here in Australia, yeah. in, in England as well, yeah. in, in Austria. Okay. Yeah. 
yeah. and you worked in Orange, the Orange area. I have worked in and Orange. And the Hunter Valley. And, and not, yeah, the Hunter Valley was there as a fruit picker. Okay. In the Orange area was there more as a farm hand, so I went mm. through the whole season of prunings, mostly mm. uh, with, with apples mm. and peaches and, and cherries, right. but I had some wine, some right. wine trellies and yeah, work okay. as well. Yeah. Okay. And did you wear that hat? I uh, did not wear this specific hat, but you know, <laughs> so hats good. come and go. There you have to go. You know, you just pull the new hat on. Okay. Okay, now, while I've got him here, I really should um, take him out to the backyard where he can look at the weeds we have. Because Diego, a lot of the, a lot of the time, that's what you do. You, you make art about weeds and you educate yeah. people about what weeds you can eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so come, come. Oh, tell me go. what it, weeds we can eat. Okay, why are I eating grapes? <laughs> so just, get, just follow. While I'm eating grapes, so we're here in a typical backyard, um, Sydney, Sydney backyards, suburban backyards, which is populated usually by the by the usual carpet of kaikuyu. Kaikuyu, kaikuyu. 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 This is the grass, eh? This grass, yeah. uh, which is from. Down here, um, right. Whenever we. Yeah. Down here, down here, right down here. See? This grass here, yeah. which is um, been imported in Australia for pasture and because it just suits very well to make this kind of carpets. There's three varieties there's kaikuyu, there's buffalo, there's couch, there's couch. Um, uh, uh, there is some natives, but most of them are exotics. Kaikuyu comes from uh, East Africa. Can you eat it? You can eat it. You can eat the seeds. In uh -huh. East Africa, you actually, if you stop mowing, it will come to seed. Uh -huh. And you collect the seeds, and they do, uh, in Africa they do a kind of a temper style uh, fermentation of the seeds, and they kind of a uh, famine food. You know, it's not great food. It stores, it stores very well. It stores very well, and it just ferments. Yeah, make, yeah, make bread and yeah, 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 exactly. Makes food. Okay. Um, Lots of weeds over here. Lots of weeds. We have some uh, the ever-present privet over here. This is a beautiful plant used in Chinese medicine for thousands of years. And privet, so helping what? Uh, what condition? Uh, privet is used. Oh, I don't remember right now. Arth arthritis. Or something? No, um, it's used for. Um, uh, I don't want to say it in yeah. case I get it wrong, but I know it's been used and it's been right. used for different in, in different uh, uh, ailments for in table different ailments. So we have uh, privets over here. We have some green chest room poking out over there, which we can see also from here. Here it is green chest room. Um, this is another declared uh, noxious weeds in the Sydney area. I've been told, I've been told by, you know, the, you ever seen the old guy who poisons all the weeds? He's a really yeah. old guy. Mm. He goes, walks around Maracle and he dobs you into the council. And does and then it? you get a letter from the council. Who does yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah, he's an in nice. Well, he's on top of things. <laughs> what, else, what, what, about this, what about these things? I like, I like these, man. No idea. They look good. They look mm. pretty. Mm. I will find the name and tell you more. Okay. In the meantime, I can uh, point at something like what we have over here, please. We have over here flatweed. This is a bin uh, dirty up by the rains and coming up over here. Hippocaeris yeah, yeah. uh, radicata, and you can eat this. Yeah, okay, so this does look like, more like a lettuce leaf to me. It looks like a lettuce leaf, it looks like a dandelion leaf as well. Many people just mistake them for dandelion. The difference being dandelion, so this is the flower stalk of flatweed, right, right. and um, Flower stock of flatweed. One telling difference between flatweed and dandelion is the fact that the stock is full, while dandelion is it's got a straw-like stalk, is empty inside, mm -hmm. and uh, dandelion's got a single flower per stalk, while he has got several flower per stalk. So dandelion, can you make tea or wine? Or you can make tea. You can make uh, coffee wine. out of dandelion okay. roots. Okay. Uh, dandelion, you eat as a salad yeah, green. Yeah, yeah. You eat it, you know, it's very good. It's very cleansing dandelion. It's very okay, good as okay. um, um, it's been used for centuries as a spring delicacy because they come out in springs, they're young and fresh, uh -huh. and it helps to cleanse after the winter food. Okay. All of the fatty and heavy food of the winter. Po the porks and the and the porks and the, and the, and the lard and yeah, the preserved yeah, the meats bacon. and the, yeah, 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 all yeah, 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 yeah. So stuff, yeah. It get cleaned off by fresh greens, leaves of the yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's 
discover more things. Explore more, explore more. We, this looks like a What about this little white flower one? That's just a, I am not sure. Something we can eat, man. We've got to find something we can eat. What are you were telling me uh, Wandering Jew, the Wandering Jew stuff. Wandering Jew, you can't eat Wandering Jew. I, but I never knew it was called, I mean, I yeah. heard of the name. This I is Tradent Tradentiskia something. Mm -hmm. It's um, uh, called also uh, Trad or Wandering Jew. That's the old name, and then it they decided it was a bit too, oh, too racist and yeah, yeah. politically incorrect, so they yeah, yeah. just call it Trad nowadays. Uh -huh. um, it's a fantastic cover, uh, ground cover plant. Yeah, yeah. It's very good to keep moisture in environments. Okay. So, but yeah. we're not getting the eating done, are we? No, you're not getting the eating done, but that's important for us to have to yeah, keep yeah. moisture in your ah. garden. What about this one here? There was a fantastic one. I think we, we have. have. We we have over here, we have uh, some typical growth coming out of, uh, of concrete or anything really. This is what they called asthma weed. Asthma weed or Parietaria judaica, Parietaria uh, muralis, and uh, also called sticky weed. Sticky weed because you can stick it on your clothes. It is sticky, it's sticky. it does stick, yeah. but taste it. It tastes, the, it the tastes taste good. It. Um, I consider it the perfect vegetable because it grow, grows proficiently and it needs nothing. That's okay, I mean, yeah. it's a little bit bitter at first, right? Yeah. A little bit bitter at first. Yeah. Uh, follow us here, have yeah, some. Yeah, yeah. A little bit bitter at first, but... It's, you it's cook it, you use it in stir fry. Oh, okay. I found recipes with f um, fresh pasta filled with uh, uh, with parietaria. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. and uh, it's quite a good vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing, people who's got Great problem vegetable. with asthma with it, it's just need to crop it before it gets to seeds. Ah, okay. Eat it before it gets to seeds. Oh, okay, okay. Now this little guy here, was it your chickweed? Chickweed, yeah? Chickweed. Chickweed, this is fantastic. This is the wonder, uh, the wonder uh, food. Um, it's beautiful as such. You just eat it as such. What, what's it called again? Chickweed. Chickweed. Stellaria media. Yeah, yeah. It tastes like grass, doesn't it? it? Tastes, everything tastes mm. like grass. <laughs> so does so ah, does spinach. The lemon, it? the lemon one, the lemon one. <laughs> lemon one. Where's the lemon one? Here we have it. Oxalis. Ah, looks like a shamrock. It does look like a shamrock, but the difference is shamrock does uh, oxalis has got um, oxalis got hard shaped leaved mm. and shamrock yeah, or yeah. It's uh, lovely, isn't it? yeah it's trifolium shape. has got full you know of uh, of of. You know, rounded leaves uh -huh. rather than heart shaped leaves. Now this is um, known as wood sorrel and it grows in something like 800 species all around the world mostly from South America and uh, is now recognized as cosmopolitan plant. It grows all over the world and it is also some native ones. There is a native version of it and that's and this is, great. This, um, is got a very lemony taste due to the oxalic acid in the plant itself. This is fantastic. This is very good. I found some recipe of the 12th century making soups, uh, making uh, uh, little uh, sauces for pork and for uh, wild meat. It was really right. good. That's so great. That is mm. amazing. Um, that's amazing. So very nice. Very and nice. pretty much that's it. That's the sort of. Yeah, really, we've discussed. Um, yeah, that's some more asthma weed. We have a, a wild mulberry bush over there. Onto. We a have wild a, mulberry, yeah. Wild, a wild mulberry. mulberry. That's that's another successful plant. Birds love it. That's yeah, why they, they grow. I used to call it. I used to call it bird berries. We, we call it very because me and Sam used to see the birds on the, yeah. and we we'd be trying to get the black ones yeah, yeah, before yeah. they got them and I always just call them bird berries and that's because how, the birds were faster. Yeah, they were generally. They were. <laughs> Damn birds! Damn I'm starting to hate birds now. The hate birds. The wine making. Yeah, yeah. The mulberries. Oh no, birds are just. Yeah, birds. They just know. They just no, yeah, just and naturally doing a very good job because they eat the fruits and, and they spread they the seeds. They, they spread the seeds, so okay. they give. They actually farming. Okay. These farming by the air, farming in the air. Or yeah, by the air. yeah, yeah, yeah. Farming Excellent. all of these beautiful plants that we love to eat and make wine with. Well, Diego, it's been a great pleasure. It's been an education as, a, as well as a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Most um, welcome. So, yeah, we'll discuss our approach. Yeah. What we really need, because I'll have to buy a few of these. Equipment tools. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. We can find the right equipment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, maybe the next the next time we come together, we'll go to a site. Yeah. We'll kind of talk about the vines because 
if you don't prune them, you know, you just yeah, yeah. You know, all the things that and we the could have done. between white wine and red wine yeah, sure. processes and things and like that. And maybe we'll drink some wine. And we'll drink some we'll wine. Drink I some like wine that because you've got to really understand it yeah. from, from the inside. <laughs> from the inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so thanks again. Thank you. No worries, man. Okay, so um, adios. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, what's it, January now? So Easter, Easter is when Easter, February, so we've got onwards. A of, we've got a couple of months. Yeah. Um, so we just got to get organised. Make sure we do everything step by step. Yeah. So when it's harvest time, you know, we just grab people. We're sick of two. Uh, we grab. <laughs> yeah, we just need hundreds of people. Don't we? we hundreds of you know, bare feet to do something. Yeah, bare feet. Bare feet. Uh, all of the amount of berries we'll yeah. find. Yeah, we need bare feet. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Rich.